Perhaps you've caught wind of the inescapable and not so surprising fact that some of Hollywood's young elites are trying to circumvent the vaccine line through concierge doctors and other hookups. I know of a few big names, one very famous reality TV star whose name I won't mention because I don't want to ruin anyone's life, but most, of course, are doing it the right way. Come with me if you want to live. Some of our sexy seniors, like Arnold, just got his vaccination with a wink to his famous Terminator line, Sam Jackson, Martha Stewart, and Sean Penn, who's under 65 but is a frontline healthcare worker, all got the shot. Tyler Perry told Gail King on CBS This Morning he recorded the process for a BET special tomorrow to help educate and reduce fears in the black community. That is good. Dr. D and I agree this is not. I know a couple of people who have uh, coerced the concierge doctor in this town to give them the early shot. But when, you know, Harrison Ford in his 70s is standing two hours in line, it's a very bad look. Do you know of some concierge type docs who have this vaccine and are cutting deals? I mean, because according to one of them, you know, he's gotten five figure offers. Yeah, there are uh, a lot of people who uh, have ways of circumventing the fact that a physician is put in a position that he's got to figure something out to help out his patient bothers me. Also, the fact that people are taking money for a free vaccine bothers me. So if, if your physician is circumventing rules, do not pay them. Don't be a part of that. There's no reason you need to pay to get vaccinated. The new president is saying he's ordered 200 million more vaccines, that 300 million Americans will be vaccinated by the end of the summer. Why does that feel like too long a time? Yeah, it, it feels like too long a time because I think those that want to be vaccinated want to be vaccinated today. I'm not going to make it this summer. The, the clock is ticking on this thing. As the numbers dip in certain areas like LA County, people are ready to get out. And it would be so nicely timed if we paired that with vaccination because that's the way we're going to beat this. Well, let's end on a hopeful note of what life could look like again. 7,500 frontline workers vaccinated will be in the stands at the Super Bowl. Great, where are your seats? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm a huge Tom Brady fan. TB12, where are you? Dr. Dorian wants to support. Here's what I want. I want those frontline workers who have full vaccinations to, to take us, you know, give us a taste of promised land. I want high fives. I want hugs. I want beer soaked kisses. Yeah, if that's not the picture of why we should vaccinate, that was the freedom we had. The doorway to that freedom is available. Get vaccinated. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.